I'm here with Mike McDonald, day 1A, here in Montreal. You said you play most of these, so what brings you here? Why do you like it so much? Um, the lack of taxes bring me here, I guess. <laughs> uh, I've honestly never played a WPT in the States. Uh, I play most of the Canadian WPTs. And what do you like about the city here? Um, I love Montreal. It's one of my favorite cities in the world. I like the food. I like the people. Uh, I don't like the weather, but uh, over, <laughs> overall, it's just, it's just a fun environment here. And what do you think about the players? Uh, my table's been like, it's been pretty exciting. Like, yeah. definitely uh, chips are moving around. There's been a lot of big pots going mm -hmm. on. Uh, I, I was kind of expecting, you know, day 1A, a lot of people wouldn't be in and it would be a small field. And I was kind of expecting a very just sort of nitty passive, like, reggae table. But there's, there's definitely a lot of action going on. Okay, all right. And how are you adjusting to that then? I'm just kind of sticking to my game plan. Like, I... Uh, it, has, it hasn't really been that noteworthy of a day. Um, I've, I've had a few hands where, you know, uh, strategically I should definitely be bluffing, but have elected not to bluff. Um, and it, it, like, it hurts to do so. Like, I'm someone who tries to play very much like by the book. And they're, you know, I'm, I try to, you know, be able to, you know, in any spot where I could bluff, I want to be, have value bets. In any spot where I could value bet, I want to have bluffs. And there have just been several hands today, actually, or two. But there have been two hands today where if I'm bluffing with a single hand, I have the hand I'm most supposed to bluff with, and I elected not to. Mm -hmm. um, so I've definitely, I guess I have been adjusting to some uh, fairly call station-y players at my table. All right, Mike, if you make it through today, what do you do on your days off here? Um... A couple of my friends are in town, so we'll probably just, you know, go out drinking the next couple nights. Uh, it's kind of nice when you have, like, having a free Friday and Saturday night in Montreal. Yeah. It's one of my favorite cities for going out. Um, if uh, if I happen to not make it through, you know, I'll be playing the next the next couple days. So, I'll, ideally, I make it through 1A. And you qualified through Party Poker? Yeah, I play a lot of satellites. Uh, almost every poker player hates satellites, but I'm one of the few people that actually enjoys them. Mm -hmm. um, so the way I qualified for this was actually kind of weird. It goes back to, I guess, January. They were running satellites to the WPT in Falls View. And, the, and then basically I played a qualifier, and it was called like the WPT, I don't know, Canada qualifier or something like that. And I registered for it. And then I realized that it was... The WPT, the spring WPT in Montreal, and they were just running. Just apparently, one week they had switched to the other one, well before Falls we had started. And the spring WPT in Montreal conflicted with Monaco, which is like the biggest week of poker in the year. Um, so I was originally thinking, okay, I'm just going to need to like burn this package. That was really stupid of me. Uh, but they allowed me to change it to this WPT, so that was that was pretty uh, pretty accommodating. And yeah, it was. Uh, I was originally just thinking, I just you know lit that 5k package on fire or something but you know it's it's nice to get to play this one well good luck thank you for chatting with us yeah no problem good talking to you as well thank you